Joining us, Lola Pressacrew, Fiona O'Shea, talking about dating Amber. What? Ditty boppers. How blue can this video go? No. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Prime Video Club. As always, I am Hazel Hayes and this is my kitchen. Now, if you love a good coming of age comedy with maybe a pinch of drama, you will love Dating Amber. Jesus, this must be what the inside of your gay brain looks like. Coming up on the show today, we take a wander behind the scenes. We get a video visit from Miss Horgan herself, and we talk to the stars Lola Pettigrew and Fiona O'Shea, joining us live from across the Irish Sea. Hello, lads. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for joining us. I believe you have a 20 second rundown of the film for us. Am I doing all 20 seconds? No, you're doing 10. Oh, okay. Stop hogging it. You can't oh, sorry, hog sorry. the uh, Dating Amber is a coming of age comedy drama set in Ireland in the 1990s about two teenagers, Eddie and Amber, who start a fake relationship with one another to hide their sexuality. Lola. He said the entire he film. Did he did do <laughs> he the, the whole thing whole there. Film. Yeah. There's other people and it's Irish and you stole all the good bits. Don't worry about that. No, it was a lovely description, a lovely description altogether. And I loved it. Obviously, having grown up in Ireland in the 90s, very nostalgic. What I would love is to hear from you guys about the other person's character. Eddie is an 18-year-old boy from Kildare who sort of exists under the guise of hypermasculinity because that's what he's been influenced by and what he feels he needs to keep up. So we're gay! I'm gay for boobs! But inside he's struggling with the sexuality. He's less sure of himself than Amber is and for him the idea of leaving Ireland and being out no matter where it is in the world is just not something that's, that's in his head. No, no, there's nothing gay about my room. Those are bullet shells. Bullets. Amber is a rebellious, funny, but also very sensitive um, woman from Kildare who is a lot more comfortable with her sexuality. And for, for Amber, being out doesn't seem like something that's otherworldly. Amber, what's for lunch? Carpet? Not today. Your mum's getting shampooed. But being out in Kildare is something, at that time, is, is something that she could never imagine. When it's school is over, I am out of here. This place will kill you. Fiona, I'm so sorry. Every single person I've told that I'm interviewing you brings up your character in normal people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when, when you make the show, of course you know that that character is an antagonist, so you don't expect mm. people to fall in love with them in the same way they do Connell and Marianne. But I don't think any of us expected the level of hate no. <laughs> that people have. But you know, it's, it's been like a constant form of entertainment because people are so creative on, on Twitter. I, I yeah. understand that I'm now kind of inviting it now. Okay, relax. Jesus. We kind of were talking about it like it's this nostalgic, charming, funny film, and it is, but there's some, there's some heavy stuff. It was important to us that sometimes in queer film, um, things can be framed quite tragically. And why those stories are so important, it's also really important that queer people see their lives framed with hope and comedy. You know, the idea that once you're out, there's an entire community of people there that are waiting with open arms to love you for all the beautiful things that make you up. And, you know, to just give the sense that once you find your tribe, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, I think is really important. You really genuinely did get along. Like, there seemed to be a lovely chemistry between the two characters. With, with the comedic stuff and the more heavy kind of um, scenes as well, uh, it's all trust. You're not afraid to really go there in a scene in the same way that you're not afraid to tell a joke and for everyone to be like, that was awful. Oh, well, uh, so I want to go in and hug you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe at the end. Maybe we'll all have a big hug at the end. Don't touch me. We had like a lot of crack on set and you know we could mess about and have fun but there were days that were hard so it was always mm -hmm. nice to have somebody that like you know just got it and understood you and that you know you didn't have to sort of hide anything from. We have said it loads like I, I couldn't have made that film with any other person apart from Lola. She's incredible. We should, yeah we should. Uh, 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 uh. Don't bite me! I'm sure that the people this is intended for will find it and will love it. It, it definitely gave me sort of vibes. It was like it was like submarine meets 
love Simon meets Derry Girl. There's, there's so <laughs> much in there. There's a scene at the dinner table with, with your character's family, Fionn. So your brother announces to the family uh, that you've, you've had your first kiss, uh, but didn't go quite as planned. Ed- Eddie shifted a girl today. Oh. Word is he didn't touch your tits, though. Jack! It captures how difficult that is and the awkwardness at the moment, but it makes it very light. Who said that? A few people, like, you know, like a few people in every class, like everyone, everyone Look, said it. It's fine. That's good, that's, that's all right. That's respectful, isn't it? Oh, no, no, I didn't, I didn't have time. The bell rang. I was, I was literally about to grab it. Jesus. You've got your mother played by Sharon Horgan, who's absolutely wonderful, and this very oppressive father figure who wants you to be, to be masculine. She's your girlfriend. But we don't want to put a label on it. But yes. Good. That's good. Coming a man. You know, Sharon and Barry, of course, we knew were going to be incredible with one another. And they were. They were both amazing. Yeah. And we were laughing the whole time. But Evan, too, really was able to keep up with both of them in a way that was so impressive. Um, for anyone, let alone someone who's doing their first, their first ever job. Amber dumped him. No, I, I dumped her. Now we've got a bit of a challenge for you. So one scene in particular in the film, uh, honestly, I had to watch through my fingers like a horror film. (laughs) In the spirit of that, pun intended, um, we're going to throw a few. <laughs> we're going to throw a few Irish words your way, which have links to sort of words in sex education. And I hope I'm pronouncing these right. And apologies to any of my my Irish sisters and brothers around the world who are like, "You're gay, like it's appalling, Hazel." Fine. I know this. Do you? Well, maybe it? not. I think what I do. It? Give me a clue. Is it vagina? It's a vagina. It's a vagina. Oh, oh no. Oh, a sign is a vagina. When have you ever had to like say vagina as Gwilliga? Like ever? Some kind of medical role play in the yeah. audience that year. <laughs> <laughs> Bod. B O D. I'm gonna go straight in. Is it Willie? Yes. Sounds like Rod. Go straight in. She's absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like Rod. Bolagach Frankach. Imagine they didn't have an Irish presenter on this show. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How would that have gone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, because now I've got awful things running through my head. Oh, I think I know what it is, based yeah. off... Oh, but I don't want to say it. How blue Sorry. can this video go? Can this video go I quite think that'll blue? be up to the editor. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but I love that you just said <laughs> It's just said <laughs> And it wasn't even right. Why? I know, I'm sorry. I love the ambition, guys. It's syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for, for that. Fionn, we've got another little challenge that you're going to kind of lead for us here. Obviously, in the film, you have to blag a bit about wanting to be in the army. You'll be given army terms or phrases from Miss Sharon Horgan herself, and you'll have to just blag and try and convince Lola so she has to guess whether you're lying or not. I play Eddie's mum. Well, I don't want your weird daughter near my son. Yeah. I mean, she's actually lovely, but still. Fionn, I am going to challenge your military prowess and your blagging prowess. First military term, big chicken dinner. Big chicken dinner is when a company secure uh, an area that's like a certain amount of land, and that's a big chicken dinner. It's a great thing. I call BS. <laughs> that's right. Of course, it actually means a bad conduct discharge. I don't know how you couldn't have figured that out. But anyway, on to the next one. Bravo Zulu. Bravo Zulu is like Gahintuk. It's like well done. I think you know that one. I think that's real. It's correct. It means well done. So well done. <laughs> Zoomies. Another easy one. A zoomie is someone who operates an aircraft. I like, is it he goes zoomie? <laughs> I don't right. think that's true. I don't think that's true. It's someone who operates an aircraft. What? <laughs> he goes zoomie through the air, so he's called zoomie. <laughs> the next one is, this is really easy. Ditty boppers. Uh, <laughs> is, is a... A uh, paratrooper, so someone in the paramilitary, somebody who comes out of a helicopter. 
A mí sí, sí. He's lying. It's um, someone who's trained in Morse code. Yeah. I thought that was good as well. Did you? Well done, uh, Fionn. And well done, Lola, for completely working out when he was blagging or not. Before we sign off, would you two like to let the people at home know maybe four reasons why they should watch Dating Amber? It's funny. 90s fashion. Sharon Horgan and Barry Ward. We play best friends and in real life, we're best friends. Also, you two are truly lovely in it. Very, 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 very funny. I was cackling throughout. That is on Prime now. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, get involved, leave a little comment for the lads, let them know what you think of the film show, a bit of support. And thank you so much for being here today. This thank was you honestly very much. so thank lovely. Thank you, we had so much fun. Thank oh, you. Oh, not at all, thanks for coming. I'm genuinely delighted to have you. It's, uh, it's been really fun. Oh, Lodge, thank you. <laughs>